There's, and, and if you're dwelling on something that's negative, if there's something that every once in a while you wake up in the middle of the night and if you had that train of thought, it just disturbs you and you can't sleep, it's time to clear that thought out. And I do believe that God wants to give us, a, and, and has been my experience, the best way to get rid of that is to put something better in. And I cannot think of anything better to put into your thinking process than the Word of God. What's a good train of thought? One of my favorite ones here lately is, um, He will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on Him. You can say that. Now, I, don't, I, don't, I, I am especially hard-headed in some of these areas where I'll have a, like a broken record. You're no good. You're no good. You're no good. You ha- you got a couple friends that reinforce that record. You need to get rid of them. No. <laughs> but I want to encourage you to replace that by a direct revelation from God. And it primarily comes from the scripture. And there is nothing more powerful if you can get the truth of God by, by pure discipline and repetition where your mind instead of that going, you're no good. You're no good. It turns in. He will keep you in perfect peace. He will keep you in perfect peace. And it's, I believe that's like a warfare sometimes in our minds. And I encourage you, no one else can fight that battle for you. You have to drive that negative thing out of you. And I believe many times there might be a something, you're, go, you're going to catch the flu. You're going to catch the flu. You hear this subconscious message or what's going on. Oh, here's one. Don't let your children go outside this year because there's mosquitoes and ticks and stuff. I thought, get those children outside. <laughs> I thought, that is the worst message we could tell our children. I think, In fact, um, this week I was with Earl Wednesday. <laughs> we were down there at the Indian Trail. I do nine holes, and, and those guys continue, and I come and try to set up. We were down there, and they were. we found all these golf balls there on one of the holes. Man, I took my shoes and my socks off. I waded out there da, 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 with the little retriever, and I was <laughs> throwing my <laughs> You know, I, I grew up running in the creek. It felt so good. Now, I want to let you know, as soon as I got a chance, I got me this antiseptic, what do they call those little hand washers? Make sure I got my feet all cleaned up. But... That, that thing came on the news that our children should not, be, our, our, everyone should be careful because of in, uh, germ-based born stuff on these mosquitoes and ticks and stuff. If you let your mind think on that, you can't even have fun going out and picking tomatoes off the bush. I want to let you know that that's very possible. There's all kinds of stuff going on in that area. But how many know God sent forth his word and he healed me? How many know God's more powerful than the worst car- germ that, or the disease that some lime tick can carry. Anyway, long story short, you need to have this decision here. From now on, things are looking up. I can assure you that there will not be a single drowning among us. Although I can't say as much for the ship, the ship itself is doomed. Let's get down to verse 23. And this is how it goes. Now, the question is, can God do this today? And I am convinced that if you stay in the word, it's not necessarily that you will have a visit by an angel, but I believe God will plant it in your heart to give you full assurance of what he wants to do. And, uh, you know, we talked about fasting today. Sometimes I am so needy. In fact, sometimes I say, Lord, I am going to sit here until I am clear in my heart about what to do in this situation. And guess what? Many times he'll say, Open, get into your word, your daily reading. And many times in that daily reading is when I get clarity. And I believe the human heart can be settled with clear directions from God. Verse 23, last night God's angel stood at my side. An angel of this God I serve saying to me, don't give up, Paul. Can you hear God telling you, don't give up? I, I believe that's a word from God for somebody in here today. Don't give up. Many times we're on the verge of our greatest miracles. It's the darkest night if we just, and how many people have quit when they were right on the edge of a breakthrough? Don't give up, Paul. You're going to stand before Caesar yet, and everyone selling with you is also going to make it. Paul heard and he believed. He had past experience in this, and you and I need to sell it. 
So he tells these guys, so dear friends, take heart. I believe God will do exactly what he told me, but we're going to shipwreck on some island or another. Verse 31, Paul saw through their guys and he told the centurion, I told you the story about him cutting their boat off. All right, go down to about, I don't even know what verse this is. This is the 14th day we've gone without food. <laughs> what a fancy thing come up here. <laughs> this is the 14th day we've gone without food. None of us has felt like eating. But I urge you, have you ever been too scared to eat? How about, have you ever been too broken hearted to eat? I want to tell you, help us, Lord. Sometimes, this is the word. But I urge you to eat something now. Take care of yourself. You know, I believe many times we're hard on ourselves when we shouldn't be. I want to encourage you, the Lord's really showing me, eat a good breakfast and lay off the ice cream at night. <laughs> I'm going to meddle in there. You need strength for the rescue ahead. You're going to come out of this without even a scratch. He broke the bread and gave thanks, almost like communion, gave thanks to God. He passed it around, and they all ate heartily, 276 of us all told, with the meal finished and everyone full, going down to verse 42. The soldiers decided to kill the prisoners so none could escape by swimming. But the centurion determined to save Paul, stopped them. And every, anyone, he told them, anyone who can swim, jump over and swim for the land and go for it. And for the rest to grab a plank, everyone made it to shore safely. Aren't you glad that you're in Christ? I want to let you know, even though our outer man may decay and fall apart, our inner man can be renewed daily. And I want to encourage you that if you are not walking in a good, close relationship with Jesus, today is when to settle that, not when you're in the midst of the storm. Father, I thank you for this beautiful people. Thank you, Lord. Pour out your blessings upon this word, Lord. Bring it to memory. I just sense there's some people that need to break some things that are going on in their mind and things that concern them and anxieties even from the enemy. Help them break it by a positive word for you. Manifest yourself to us, Lord, for our encouragement and also that we may encourage others. In Jesus' name, amen. Come, Pam and Jean. Oh, that's Pam's notes I'm looking around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our hymn of invitation is Take My Life.